Hi there. Today we discuss what is image alt text and what are the benefits to your website. Hi there, my name is John Hoey. I'm the SEO manager here at The Marketing People. In today's SEO Thursday video, we're going to be discussing what is image alt text. Now, image alt text is primarily used for web accessibility reasons. Now, with this, it can help describe an image on the page, um, and also it also helps people who have visual impairments uh, so they understand the image within the context of the text of the website. So, if the image doesn't load, they'll still be able to see what the image was about. Now, um, this is best practice for webmasters to use, so all your websites. If you've got webmasters, they should all be using this, um, and it's also very good for SEO. So, what are the best practices for image alt text? Well, you need to make sure that they're short, to the point, and descriptive. Now, it's also really good for you as well from an SEO perspective to include uh, like a keyword relevant to the page, um, but also make sure that you don't physically stuff the image alt text with loads and loads of keywords because it will just, you know, it's not a good practice to do that. We're going to use Amazon.co.uk as a great example um, of image alt text. Now, as you can see on this website, we're on the home page here, but then we've got the everyday essential section. So I'm just going to take this pack of Pringles here. If you right click on the image itself and then scroll down in Google Chrome to inspect, what happens then it pops up this little box on the right hand side and then you've got all the details relating to the image. Now as you can see when I've highlighted um, and rolling over the image itself it highlights in blue um, and then you can see right here in the middle of it you've got the image alt title under this it says Pringles sour cream and onion crisps 200 grams pack of six. You can now see an image on screen. A bad example of image alt text would be A that the alt text is left blank, so it's not descriptive, there's nothing in there at all. B, serial. Now an okay version of image alt text would be serial bowl with juice. Now you could have a best practice one, which would probably be uh, describing the cereal itself. So you could say oatmeal with bananas with a glass of orange juice. Now that would be best practice. One of the questions we get asked is, is image alt text good for SEO? Of course it is. You can include your targeted keywords uh, within an image itself in that description. You uh, have to make sure though that the image itself is relevant to the page and the context within the page. Now, this is also good um, for site audits as well. So if you're auditing your website, um, one of the uh, errors or warnings that would flash up would be if there's no alt uh, image descriptions within there. So it's always best when you add images to your website that you add an, uh, an alt text uh, to each image as well. It also helps spiders crawl the website better, so it's got a better so Google and other search engines have a better understanding of your website itself, um, and it can also as well help rank for image related searches within Google. So if you're enjoying our SEO Thursday videos, make sure that you check out our playlist on our YouTube channel. If you're interested in any of other of our services, not just SEO related, but we're a fully integrated marketing agency, give us a call on 01543 495 752 or alternatively drop us an email at info at themarketingpeople.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.